This is so simple now in Premiere Pro. In this video, we're going to create this smooth text animation with no keyframes, no masking, no cropping. And you can save and reuse this preset over and over again. You need at least Premiere Pro version 25.5 as it comes with all of film impacts, effects, and transitions, all free in Premiere. We're a pretty new channel, so if you find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out our Phantom plugin for Premiere Pro with over nine plus tools to help you edit faster, such as AI rough cuts, multicam editing, a video downloader, auto photo importing, and many more. Diving into the tutorial, I have my sequence already set up. I'm gonna go to type tool, and create a text graphic. Next, I'm gonna to go to properties and the font that I'm using is interblock and the size I have it at 100. Going down in the properties panel, I'm going to align this better with my frame. That's perfect the way it is. Going to the effects panel, I'm gonna search up film impacts text animator tool and drag it onto the transition. And let's play it back to see how it looks like. It's pretty quick. So what I'm going to do is go to the transition, increase the duration to how I want it, Going to the effects control panel, I'm going to go down a little bit, go to preset, click on fade, and let's see how this looks. Looks pretty good so far, but we can improve this a little bit better. We're going to go down, go to animation control, and we're going to adjust the push position to 50. Now playing it back, we can see that the letters are going to come from the bottom instead of coming from the side. If you want a greater effect, we can change this to 200 and we can see the results. Not too bad, but I'm going to change it to 50 for now. Going all the way down to advanced controls, we're gonna click on this and object type, we're gonna change it to word. Word bias, we're gonna change it to 10. Now, instead of each letter individually popping up, we're gonna have the word individually pop up instead. And this is looking really good, but we also wanna fade out the effect. So we're gonna copy the transition and paste it at the end. We're gonna click on this, go to the effects control panel, go down, and push position, we're gonna change it to negative 50. Going back all the way down in the advanced controls, we're gonna turn off left to right. And now let's see how this looks like. And that's looking really good, but if we want, we can also adjust the timing to make it longer so it's even more smooth. And we could also do the same thing for the end. Now find that if you really want that smooth text effect, the longer your graphic, the smoother it can get. You can also save this as a preset. Click on the transition, go to text animator, right click, save as preset. And I'm gonna name this Phantom Fade In. And clicking on the edit transition, I can do the same thing. Right click, save preset, Phantom Fade Out, and click OK. Now in my effects panel, I can go to my presets and I can see both my fade in and fade out presets saved. And now I can use this on whatever graphic I want to. And if this is all you want to learn, that's totally fine. But I'm going to show you a little bit more if you want to follow along. In my sequence, I'm going to copy and paste this graphic. Let's change the text. And we're going to copy and paste to create an editor track. On the top layer, we're going to go to the effects control panel and adjust the positioning to be a little bit lower. And we're going to also change the text again. Let me adjust the position. And let me adjust this timing of this effect. Now I'm, I'm going to copy and paste this transition again. Now let's see how the whole thing looks like. 